Hi, this is Oliver Lucanis from Below Water. Let's have a quick look at one of the most famous sports fish from South America. It's actually not from the Amazon, but found further south, in the rivers of the Pantanal and the headwaters of the rivers along the Piedmont of the Andes, in Bolivia, Paraguay and Brazil. The Dorado loves to hunt at dawn and dusk. During the day, they usually stay within their territory, unless there's some sort of commotion. For example, when heavy rains make the rivers turbid, then this zone of mixing water is prime territory for predators. This water confuses potential prey coming into the confluence from the clear waters of a spring. Dorado wait on the edge of the blending water to catch unsuspecting small fish. But we can also find them in the dark stained waters of the Pantanal lowland. Here they are one of the largest predators, along with anacondas, caiman and these giant otters. The record size of the Dorado is now over 4 feet at 130 centimeters and over 30 kilograms. You can see some young Dorado in the beginning of this scene. In this spring in the Serra de la Boroquena, clear water drains down to the Pantanal. In this shallow sector, they remain under the shadows of the trees along the margins and only occasionally hunt in the open water during the day. Other fish here are Leporinus, Prochilotus and many smaller charisids. The most common fish here is the Pirapitunga, or Brycon hillary. They form huge schools with hundreds of individuals. They feed on the riparian plants, the aquatic plants, and seeds and fruits that fall into the water. If you look carefully, you'll see a big dorado in their school, just lazily swimming a bit below, waiting for one of those Brycon to pay attention to something else, and then they may attack. Often monkeys are feeding in the trees above and they drop uneaten fruit into the river. That attracts many of the brycon and gives opportunities to the dorado. All the fish keep a bit of a safety distance and open their fins to look bigger and make it harder for the dorado to get their jaws around them. The dorado are the fastest fish in the river and could try to grab one of those brycon or leporinus at any time. But at dusk all this will change and all these salminas will start to hunt and catch fish because in the morning they all have huge bellies, showing that their hunt has been successful. Make sure to subscribe to this channel at the end of the video. It will help to encourage us to show more videos of fish in their natural habitats.